New Horizons is different from other games in the series because it has a crazy number of furniture items compared to the others. Instead of set furniture series, we kind of have a random assortment of different furniture options. As a result, lovely designers in the Animal Crossing community have created themes to follow to create a complete design. It's clear many of you love cottagecore, which is understandable since we're literally playing a game called Animal Forest. What are the best furniture items for cottagecore, and how can you make them fit together to create a complete look? The sheer number of furniture items in this game is completely overwhelming. The key is knowing which items work together. Inspiration helps a lot. Check out what others have done on their islands, try to get a better idea on what looks good and how it looks good. One item you'll see over and over again in cottagecore builds, barrels. I freaking love barrels. Barrels are the number one furniture item to include, of course, in every build. All of them can be improved with the addition of the king barrel. Make sure you throw the barrel towards the back of your build since it's a bit taller than most items. You don't want to block any of your other beautiful furniture. If you need a type of surface, stick to wooden tables. We have crafting recipes for a bunch of different types. Low tables, tall tables, round tables, square tables, whatever you need, it's here. And if it's not, there's a ton more you can purchase through Nook's Cranny or Nook Shopping if you've already purchased it in the past. I love how I just listed every table in the game and yet have only put one table in this design. Good job, decorating Korra. You really remembered what script and Korra put in the script. I applaud. Just fantastic work. The main idea for Cottage Core is to keep items that hit that peak coziness feeling. Throwing these wooden stools in as a smaller surface is another option. They can be customized to add a lovely pattern and just make it more cozy, which is like the only goal here. As always, the lovely artists of New Horizons have done all of the amazing work so we can just enjoy their beautiful designs. If you have a Nintendo Switch online, hit up the portal and find something cozy. Some nice designs to include are barn doors, wood planks, any form of dirt path, or even the path. Some quilts and leaves add a nice texture change to the ground. Stone or bricks can be a nice addition as well. Anything to change up the monotonous grass design, really. Look at this grass. Cover that. Gross. Blech. Disgusting. How dare. Zen pillows with a fertilizer design is a cool idea too, if you're doing any kind of garden build. 2.0 added the stack bags that can be customized as well. Most wood items that you craft will fit in this area, like clotheslines, buckets, pretty much any of the log furniture, wooden benches, everything with wood is pretty much your best friend. Except the butter churn, I never know what to do with this thing. I tend to leave it out. Don't forget to customize the log furniture if you decide to use it. Those quilted cool designs add so much to the build. Books are also a lovely addition. The trick with cottage core is to make it look as natural as possible. Items like trees and bushes, even unflowered ones, are super important. They'll complement the dirt or stone paths very well and add more coziness. How many times can I say cozy in one video? Good job, Cora. Make sure you throw flowers in there as well. Green mums, top tier. But any other color will work if it matches your color scheme. But green mums though, they're amazing. The best fencing options I like to use are the country and barbed wire fencing. Hedges are also an amazing addition if you want to add more green or dead to your winter design. You gotta have barbed wire fencing so nobody touches your laundry. Get, get out. Don't steal my clothes. Those are my clothes. The new update added over 9,000 new items, including customizations, which is a ton of furniture to add to your builds. 9,000 items? Can you imagine your boss coming up to you and being like, yo, I need 9,000 new furniture items for this game that's almost two years old. God bless them. Party string lights have been my favorite so far. They match the cottage core vibes so well, especially at night. The lights are so pretty. They immediately add warmness to anything. There's a ton of amazing 2.0 furniture like the cardboard boxes, the adorable cruiser bikes, storefronts, wheat fields, the amazing bathtub with yuzu, every variation of the pergola is beautiful, the stacked barrels, all the house plants that have ever existed in the game, they're all amazing. Everything needs more plants anyway, and they never die, so like, the best types of plants ever, just slap them into your design and it'll somehow work. And I didn't add them to my build, cause I was too lazy to go back to my other island and pick them up and bring them back to my science island, so no nope. party lights here, but they're really cool, I, s I swear. I swear I love them. Just not enough, I'm too lazy, all right? New Horizons is so different from past games in the series. 
First, the fact that we have all this area to design, something other than just rooms in a house, is amazing. Our doors have been burst open and now we can create whatever design we want. There are no limits and it is super intimidating. But if you find some inspiration from those who are good at decorating and take it one section at a time, you'll be surprised what you can make. What's your favorite cottagecore furniture item? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you next time. Bye.